What's up, Mena Nerds? This video is all about the Exogorth, also known as the Space Slug. These monsters are a silicon based life form, which usually makes you think of things like rock type creatures, seen with the shard species, but which also includes more carbon based looking creatures like the Minoc. No one knows how long they can live, but the largest recorded Exogorths were 900 meters, more than half a mile long. That would make them the same size as the Victory class Star Destroyer, and nearly three times the Arquidens class light cruiser. If it showed up on Earth, it would be 30 times the length of our largest creature, the Blue Whale, and more than twice the height of the Empire State Building. This size was crucial to its survival for two reasons, a larger surface area to leach nutrients from, and more calculating power in its nervous system. I want to start by looking at its nervous system, because to understand how it survives, you need to think of these slugs as Star Destroyer sized calculators. A debate on what defines intelligence or sentience is outside of the scope and time restraints of this video, but like all organisms, it is highly specialized for its environment. You can see the nervous system is similar to snails, with optical stalks sticking out and without the kind of brain that you would find in primates. Instead there are two ganglion, or groups of cells, that help to process the information being taken in to its trillions of nerves across its body. Besides basic bodily functions, which we will get to in a second, its whole nervous system is to help it navigate through, well, space. Its eyes work like giant telescopes that can detect the presence of celestial bodies by the perturbation of light emitted from stars. The slug itself will be on an asteroid, and while it and its home spin through space, it is collecting the light from many stars, and when one of these streams of light data gets interrupted by a bunch of small objects at once, the Exogorth sees this as an all-you-can-eat buffet sign. A fresh asteroid field has been discovered, which means tons of new material to absorb into its silicon-based body. The real insanity of this creature's existence emerges when it wiggles itself free from its asteroid home, and uses that same light data triangulation process to leap from asteroid to asteroid in its own belt until it can determine the right trajectory before launching itself across the cosmos. Roughly speaking, there's nothing to slow you down in space, so the Exogorth will get there eventually, making the reserves that it can store in its massive body incredibly useful. The ability to process data like that is why I called this thing a 900 meter organic calculator. Though I do wonder how many times it was off, or how many unpredictable changes caused an Exogorth to come burning into a planet's atmosphere, crispy slug carcass smashing into their cities, or how many random smaller ships have just gone missing, exploding across the surface of an unflinching flying slug. Once it lands on a juicy asteroid, it will use these massive, tough, and sharp teeth to start chomping through the rock. From here the minerals will pass through its esophagus, into its crop, an area for storing food before the stomach, which is also seen in gastropods and birds, before then passing into the stomach and out through the intestines. To pump blood throughout the Exogorth, it has 8 hearts, and is cleaned with its 10 kidneys, that presumably work in similar ways to humans, regulating hormones, blood, and excreting toxins. Once the Exogorth had burrowed its way deep into an asteroid, its anchor tendrils would spread out as far as possible to start leaching away nutrients that way. The mouth would remain open, so that it could still gobble up some asteroids that happened to pass into it, or so that it was in perfect position to chomp on a ship. This species reproduced by asexual fission upon the release of a chemical trigger, with these newborns being immediately self-sufficient, eating upon their birth asteroid, before hopping around and continuing the process. Interestingly, there were two variants of space slugs, the crimson slugs and the kularan slugs. The crimson get their names from this red strip pattern down their side, and the kularan get theirs from their home in the kularan system. Both of these were much smaller, with the Crimson being a nuisance that could work its way into ships, while the Kalaran was actually able to be tamed. Though Coruscant biologists suspect that they are related, they are not sure if the giant Exogorth came from these smaller types, or vice versa, or where the species is said to originate from. The best bet is the planet Kalaran, since it no longer exists, instead making up the Kalaran asteroid belt. This would also be evidence toward them going from the smaller variant to the larger one. So that's it for the space slugs biology, but you definitely want to hear these cool facts and behind the scenes stuff. Some facilities intentionally place these slugs in asteroid belts surrounding them just to help keep away the Minox, but is an idea that only works safely due to a discovery that by introducing the mineral Catrium to the Exogorth, it could no longer reproduce and would stop growing. 
This way you didn't have to worry about Minox or capital ship sized self-replicating giant space slugs. A puppet was used to make the special effects on screen, but there was also a four and a half foot model of its mouth for the close up. To make the sounds of walking on a tongue, the team used 25 pounds of beef fat and dozens of raw eggs. This scene was shot at the Echo Base hangar set, where they just painted the floor black and used a fog machine. But George Lucas was ultimately disappointed in this scene, saying that it worked better on paper. And its inspiration comes from the story of Jonah and the Whale from the Bible. So that's it for the Exegorth. If you want to connect with us, help support this channel, or get your own copies of the reference material used in this video, be sure to check out the links in the description. Special shout out to our supporters over on Patreon, but most important of all, remember, your gaming PCs got nothing on these silicon slug computers, and the force will be with you, always.